skateboarding has been around since the 1950s and was created when surfers in California wanted to invent some way to surf the streets. In 1963, skateboarding seemed to hit a peak of popularity. Companies were holding competitions that were either downhill slalom or freestyle. Freestyle was more like dancing with the skateboard. In 1965, the sport's popularity suddenly dropped. Most people considered it a fad that had died out. Skateboard companies were folding and people had to go back to making their own boards. In 1972, Frank Nasworthy invented urethane skateboard wheels. He sold them through his company Cadillac Wheels. This was a big deal for skateboarding. It created new interest in the sport. In 1975, skateboarding started to look like the sport we see currently. In the spring of 1975, a contest was held at the Ocean Festival. The Zephyr team showed up and introduced to people a different way to skateboard. In 1978, a skater named Alan Gelfand invented the trick called the Ollie. This changed skateboarding, allowing skaters to pop into the air with their board. Many current tricks are based on the Ollie. During the late 80s, the sport took another dive in popularity. Vert skateboarding lost its appeal and most people skated street. As skateboarding started to come back, it came with a more raw and edgy attitude. In 1995, the first Extreme Games were held, which brought more attention to skateboarding, allowing it to grow. It also allowed the sport to be more accepted. In the year 2000, skateboarding was booming. Companies were making games, movies, and toys centered around skateboarding. Now, let's talk to some RB skaters and see how they feel about skateboarding. Um, I'd have to say my, like, just my friends and neighbors, the older kids, seeing them riding around, I always thought it was, like, the coolest thing, them just hopping up curves and stuff, and now it's gone so much farther than that. What got me interested in skateboarding was my brother, I saw my brother skateboarding, and, like, I always thought that was cool, so I gave it a try, and I just progressed from there. Well, the first time is when I saw someone, Ollie, and, like, I kind of just, like I saw someone just get off the air with a with like a board under their feet, and it was really cool. So I had to learn that. Like a local skateboarder that I really look up to is Neil Miller because he's really good, and I really want to see him like become like a pro or something. But like a professional, I really look up to. I like uh, Chris Cole. He's really good, and I'd really like to skate with him sometime. I would have to say uh, Neil Miller. He's one of like my favorite skaters, and he's like a hometown hero. Like he's really good, and I just hope that more happens for him. Uh, I tell them to stick with it and uh, practice tricks every day. Go to parks or ask people how to do something and then you'll, they'll be able to learn it? I'd have to say persistence, just to keep up with um, what they're doing and try hard and never stop even if you fall. I'd suggest keep trying. Don't give up if you fall or if you can't land a trick. Just keep going and you'll get it sooner or later. It's a hard sport, but it's really fun and uh, self-rewarding. Um, just that it's like a piece of like self-expression and getting to express myself and just anything that's built up inside you get to release it through skateboarding. Some of my favorite things are doing like really difficult tricks because when you land them it, you feel really accomplished. And I like doing like stair sets and gaps because it's it's like kind of like almost a, like an adrenaline rush if you like do a really large gap or stair set. Um, uh, not really. I've been messing around lately. I, yesterday I was trying to do some just messing around, uh, like 360 flips into like grinds, that's it. And that wasn't really working. One of my favorite places to skateboard is probably the Forest Park Skate Park because that park has like everything there and it's so much fun to skate at. Um, locally I would have to say Ellert because that park, um, it's been there and that's where I've learned pretty much everything. And then away from town, I'd have to say Aurora Skate Plaza because it's just really good overall and everyone there is just amazing. 
Um, I love to skate Ellert because it's just, of course, it's a local park around here, but you could also learn a lot of stuff there. And in Riverside, there's a train station, the four stair and five stair, so it's good to learn tricks over the stairs. Uh, some of her tricks are bat crooks on boxes, uh, kid flips over anything, and uh, now I, I backside flips. Um, I really like going off ramps and like 360s and uh, just, I don't know, anything that just allows me to get high up in the air. Like now I tray flip, now I flip. Nolly tricks. Nolly tricks are when you're on the front of the board and instead of riding just regular, you're riding on the front. It's like switch going backwards. Thank you. My favorite would have to be park just because everything's there and it's a great place to learn new things. Um, probably my favorite to skate it would have to be um, park because there's just the mix of everything and I don't know, you can learn a lot there and you can have a really good time. Probably my favorite skateboarding uh, video of all time is probably Tori Podwell's Big Bang Theory. It's a really awesome video. Um, I like to watch Rob Durdick's Fantasy Factory. It inspires me to skateboard. And um, other skate videos that come out for like uh, skate brands. Um, Camp Woodward. That's a very good show because uh, I don't know, it just gets you pumped and you want to go outside. And I really want to go there one day. The skaters of RBHS hope you have learned a little bit on why we love to skateboard. Skating has always been seen as a crime, but we see it as a way to get out of the house, be active, and be with friends. Thanks for watching.